Well, I was born on Guam. My parents, uh, Mahensia Yamada Nyerikla and Lugas Nyerikla, they came in the late 1960s. Um, they worked two, sometimes three jobs each, you know, to, to get by. Um, at one point, my dad was working two jobs while going to the University of Guam. Um, and those were tough times. But when my father died, um, it was really hard. Uh, it was really hard on my mom because she was the rock of the family. You know, she held us together, but my dad was her rock. I stayed in, in Momo Totsumaiti for, uh, for a minute when we were younger, until about the third grade. The move from that area where we were surrounded by other immigrants, it was, uh, that community there was more accepting. I went to JQ San Miguel and because we had so many more, uh, there were more Palauans, more uh, Pompeians, more Chukis. So there were people like me. So I didn't think I stood out all that much. When I went, we moved to Barragata. It was a different group of people. And I did, I felt very out of place. You know, third grade was really, really tough. That was my first year at PC Lujan. Um, me and my sisters were the only Palauans there. Uh, I was the darkest kid at school. And there were some kids who made it a point to tell me that. <laughs> it didn't dawn on me that I was any different from any of the, any of the other children. Um, but, you know, after a while you kind of notice, and then you start hearing the comments, you know, about that girl. And it was tough for me because um, English is not my first language. Um, I had to learn how to speak English. Um, and it was the first time I sort of had my taste of what other people think of you when you're different. My parents, when I, I would go home and I didn't understand, and my dad would, you know, being the very patient sort of, he's a counselor, uh, man that he was, he would go, you know, they just don't understand who you are. They're, you know, you are different because you come from a different culture, you, don't, you come from a different background, you know, and that's okay. That's something you should celebrate. Uh, it's, you know, not everybody can do that, though. Not everyone is, is able to celebrate the differences in other people. I appreciated it when Governor Calvo, then Senator Calvo, first started using that term, Guamanian. It was a term that I'd heard in my youth and that I really liked because it meant I was a part of this island this place I called home because it really is the only home I know. I love Palau and I love, I love the Palau culture and I love my family. And when he said or used that term, it meant that I belonged. It meant that I was welcome. Not only had I been invited, but that the people here were glad that I was here. And that was so hard to deal with growing up. And to see that Senator Cowell understood that. And I don't know if he quite realized how much that touched people like me, but it did mean a lot. It really did mean a lot. The word Guamanian for me says that I too belong, that me and all my wonderful Palauanness am welcome to join this melting pot called Guam and do my part to make this island a better place for all of us. My name is Oyal Nyerenikla, I am Palawan, and I am Deputy Press Secretary for the Governor of Guam.